How vitamin B3 benefits kidney health. Both past and recent studies have demonstrated that vitamin B3 can control phosphorus levels from becoming elevated in kidney disease. This evidence suggests that nicotinic acid, vitamin B3, and its metabolites may effectively decrease phosphorus absorption in the gastrointestinal tract, thereby reducing serum phosphorus concentrations. And uh, it's found in foods too. That here's I'll put the article in the description box below. But it's mostly in meat, fish, chicken, turkey, chopped pork, liver, peanuts, beef, mushrooms, peas, sunflower seeds, and avocados. And here's an article by the NCBI, you know, the, the government, the branch of the medical field. And it goes on to say down here, this was the first article I ever saw about it. But, uh... 31 patients receiving niacin treatment to 30 CKD control patients who did not receive niacin treatment. They found that niacin treatment increased HDL cholesterol and decreased triglycerides and serum phosphorus. In addition, niacin treatment improved the glomerular filtration rate compared to baseline values. The glomerular filtration rate was is the function of the kidneys. It improved the function of the kidneys. Okay. Uh, here. Oh, yeah, here it is. Study. Across all models of adjustment, patients who took niacin had an 11% decreased risk of death, said Eleni Streja, Ph.D., from the University of California, Irvine Medical Center in Orange. Let's see. Also, uh, I... It's also good for other things. I did a video Bye -bye. earlier I'll about this. I'll tell you all about a way to stay warm in an emergency. Like if there's a power outage or something like that and, you, and your heat is turned off. A good way to stay warm is with niacin. Uh, you don't have to take a full 100, 250 milligrams. You can, you can cut. And I'll put that link in the description box.